What's up guys, the only ninja warring aviators and a superman had bringing you another episode on combat for dummies. This time we are going over a special character, one of my favorite Mortal Kombat characters. We're going over Scorpions. Get over Get here! Over. Now, Scorpion has two rope darts in, or one rope dart in each hand that he can shoot out, stab opponents, and pull them closer. And that's what the move is. You can see, I'm sure all of you guys seen it. But if not, I'll draw a clip right now. Get over here! All right, now that we, you have seen the clip and been refreshed, I obviously don't have uh, rope darts in my hands. I'm, I, I just don't have that. So what we're going to use is this rope dart right here. It has a bunch of feathers on the outside, but that's not important because at the end is a weighted uh, piece of metal. And it's super easy to make this. If you want, I can go in and make a cutting edge tech video and show you how you can make your own for like super cheap make you one that's you know effective as a weapon and one that's effective for practicing and playing around with your friends so if you are interested let me know down in the comments but first we're going to get off with the basic throw so you can get that that motion going so you're going to want to get used to being able to spinning it the right way now i don't spin it forward this is forward see how the top goes forward this is not the easy you know the basic toss you're going to want to spin it backwards spin it towards your back the top goes towards your back now just like this be careful you might want to wear gloves if you're just getting into this because the rope can kind of wear and tear in your hands and give you some some rope burn it's not fun if you do this often you'll eventually you know strengthen up your hands but when you're first starting be careful easy to get rope burns now when you are spinning it you're going to want to pick a time when it shoots out and you're going to want to get that motion of shooting out just like that and it should be almost trying to pull that you pull itself away from your hands just spinning and then shooting out spinning and shooting out just like that now you're gonna want to hold uh, enough string to be able to control it easily I don't hold it all the way out here this is not good because when you pull back you won't you'll have to pull back all the way in order to pull it back to your hand completely so I like to hold it about halfway right around here you can change it depending on the distance of your target it doesn't really matter this is just where i like to i like to practice it so you're going to start spinning 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 and for your first couple you're not going to go super far you're just going to go whoop, let it slide out a little bit and as it slides out you use your left hand and pull it back to you so you can regain control and keep spinning going slow is a lot harder so spinning a little bit shooting it out and pulling it back Spin a little bit shoot it out pull it back now as you get better at this you can start giving yourself more and more slack so that you can shoot it out and pull it back if I stand all the way back here I can shoot it out towards my car and pull it back shoot it out pull it back shoot it out pull it back just like that and going at an angle so you guys can see a little better get over shoot here it out, pull it back. shoot it out pull it back now the trick is to keep it spinning. So you want to be able to shoot it out and then spin it the other direction. Shoot it out, spin it the other direction. Shoot it out, spin it the other direction. So you can go back and forth doing this one simple move over and over to get yourself good in practice. So hope you guys pick that up. If you want to know how you can make your own uh, whip chain, it's not going to be as fancy as this one. This one's pretty nice. This is actually my friend's. Uh, he's a member of Rebellion. You guys will see him in the future. Uh, but if you want to know how to make something like this, let me know. If you have any other questions or any other characters, any other moves you want to see me do, let me know down in the comments. I am taking suggestions because at this point right now, I am kind of running out of ideas. So let me know. Till the next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Don't forget to like and subscribe.